The Mariana Deep Sea Trench, a place of dark beauty and extremes, is considered the deepest point in the oceans. Scientists have just made a startling discovery here after a deep sea probe found it. The long and narrow valley at the bottom of the sea is the result of tectonic activity and home to many highly specialized and bizarre creatures. The latest findings in deep sea research even suggest that other life forms and possibly entire civilizations exist in the depths, of which we had not the faintest idea until now. Scientists who sent a state-of-the-art deep sea probe into this remote abyss stumbled upon something unexpected and disturbing. This discovery at the deepest point on Earth will forever change our understanding of the deep sea and the mysteries hidden within. What the researchers have found not only raises new questions about the unexplored depths of our oceans, but could also have far-reaching implications for our knowledge of life in the universe. The Mariana Trench was formed where two Earth plates are pushing against each other. The pressure exerted by the two plates on each other created a deep channel that is only accessible to us humans under difficult conditions. For a long time, the Mariana Trench was one of the least known places on Earth. Officially, the area in the Pacific belongs to the USA. In the 1950s, the country wanted to dump large quantities of nuclear waste into the trench. Can you imagine how stupid that would have been? Back then, nobody had any idea how quickly radioactive waste would contaminate an entire ocean, and we might have a global catastrophe today if it hadn't been prevented by courageous explorers. Two adventurers dared to descend to the depth of 11 kilometers in a unique submarine and proved there is life there. In 2009, President George W. Bush recognized the importance of this unique place and established the Mariana Trench Maritime National Monument. Today, the protected area encompasses a large part of the deep sea trench and the surrounding marine environment. This unique world is now protected forever and we humans are in the process of exploring it. Challenger Deep, deeper than anywhere else. It's unbelievable, but it's true. As early as 1872, humans had the technology to examine the seabed in great detail. From 1872 to 1876, the British ship HMS Challenger explored the bottom of the Pacific Ocean and collected extensive data on marine life, marine geology, and oceanography. In 1875, the explorers came across the deepest point on Earth. Imagine this point, some 11 kilometers deep, was found only using the simplest of soundings. Sounding is a simple method in which a rope with a weight is lowered into the depths. The researchers must have been busy for days trying to find more rope to reach the 11 kilometers. Even ocean experts were surprised that the Earth could be so deep. Remember, our highest mountain is only around 11 kilometers high, and this incredible ocean depth is another 3 kilometers deeper. To date, the Challenger Deep in the Western Pacific Ocean is the deepest known point on the Earth's surface, although several other deep-sea pinnacles have since been found. Another one is located in the very south of Tierra del Fuego, at the transition to Antarctica, and not so far from the Mariana Trench is the second deepest crevice on the seabed. The exact depth of the Challenger Deep has been remeasured several times over the years and adjusted once again using the latest measuring methods. Officially, it is now around 10,984 meters. This depth makes the Mariana Trench a real challenge for science, but it also appeals to our curiosity and our urge to explore. We humans want to know what is going on down there. Off into the depths. The divers among you know that we humans have a problem with our respiratory organs and blood gas, even at shallow depths. Only the best divers in the world go to the depths of just 200 meters below the surface. And now, remember that the Mariana Trench is 11 kilometers deep. The oceans of our planet are far from being just endless spaces filled with water. They are complex habitats with layers and zones of vegetation. The epilogeic zone, also known as the sunlight zone, begins at the surface. It extends to a depth of about 200 meters and is the area where the sunlight is still strong enough to allow photosynthesis. This is where we find the greatest diversity of marine life, including most marine animals and plants. Below this lies the mesopelagic zone, which extends from 200 to around 1,000 meters deep. 
In this twilight zone, sunlight decreases rapidly and living conditions become more challenging. Many animals in this zone have developed ingenious adaptations to survive in the low light levels. A fascinating example of this are bioluminescent organs. Even deeper, in the bathypelagic zone, which ranges from 1,000 to 4,000 meters, there is permanent darkness and silence. Life is sparser here, but it still exists. The mysterious and little explored world of the deep sea begins at this threshold. Only submarines and specialized diving equipment can reach these depths, but it remains a challenge as the immense water pressure pushes technology to its limits. The abyssopelagic zone, which ranges from 4,000 to 6,000 meters, is even more extreme. There are no vertebrates here, and the inhabitants are mostly simple organisms such as sponges and sea cucumbers. Temperatures are close to freezing point, and the pressure is enormous. The deepest zone is the Hadalopegic zone, which can only be found in deep sea trenches such as the Mariana Trench. This zone starts at around 6,000 meters and extends to the deepest known points in the ocean, such as the Challenger Deep in the Mariana Trench. This zone is the least explored, and the conditions here are extreme, almost zero light, freezing temperatures, and a pressure so strong that only a few specialized life forms can exist. The ocean is truly a kaleidoscope of habitats in which we only have explored and know about 5%, so the last secrets of this Earth lie in the depths. What lurks down there? Would you believe me if I told you that there is far more down in the depths than a few invertebrate mollusks or microbes? The unfathomable depths of the oceans have always fired the human imagination. Numerous myths and legends tell of bizarre creatures that have built entire cities underwater. Stories about mysterious creatures and sunken cities in the dark abysses of the seas can be found in many cultures that have a special connection to the ocean. Some are convinced that gods live in the depths of the oceans, others suspect monsters or a place of evil. Atlantis, the legendary city that supposedly disappeared beneath the waves, is said to lie at the bottom of the Atlantic today, and we all know gruesome stories about gigantic octopuses and sea monsters that can pull entire ships into the depths. For a long time, the stories about 10-meter-long octopuses were thought to be pure sailor's fiction, until the first specimens were sighted. So, could it be that the myths about cities and civilizations underwater are also true? The famous Hollywood director James Cameron took up the subject in his film The Abyss. In this science fiction story, the crew of an underwater drilling station encounters a highly intelligent alien species living in the depths of the oceans. These beings see the planet endangered by the actions of us humans and are on the verge of destroying humanity to protect the planet. James Cameron didn't just make any movie. He has a very special relationship with the deep sea himself, and in 2012, he dived into the Mariana Trench himself with a special submarine. A Boundless Adventure James Cameron is not only responsible for epic-making films such as Avatar, this man is interested in the planet he lives on and explores this world in his own way. His adventures give him ideas that then turns into billion-dollar blockbusters. With his specially designed submarine, the Deep Sea Challenger, he reached the deepest point on Earth alone. This solo dive was the first of its kind since the historic dive of the Triste in 1960, when Don Walsh and Jacques Picard became the first people to reach the bottom of the Mariana Trench. The Triste expedition opened the door to a new era of deep sea exploration over half a century ago. Walsh and Picard proved that there is not nothing down there, there is life. At the deepest depth, the two saw a fish, and on the way down, many creatures appeared in front of the meager light of their submarine. No one had thought this possible at the time. Life in these depths, without light and without warmth. But it is possible, and this discovery must also make us realize that life can exist in space on distant planets and moons under conditions we cannot imagine. Cameron's dive expanded this understanding of the deep sea once again. He collected important data and samples and filmed the deep sea environment, turning it into a unique documentary. In addition to the two manned dives, there were numerous other expeditions with diving probes and unmanned submarines, to which we owe many more important insights into the Mariana Trench. We saw images of unique creatures for the first time, fish that exist completely without light, and a rich world of simple plants, microbes, and mollusks. 
One of the most successful probes was Kaiko, which was operated by the Japanese Agency for Marine and Earth Exploration. Kaiko reached the bottom of the Mariana Trench in 1995, collected data, and filmed the bizarre environment. Nurius was a hybrid underwater vehicle that was on an autonomous and remote-controlled voyage of discovery in the Challenger Deep. We have Nurius to thank for detailed maps and high-resolution images of the seabed. Beautiful and bizarre life in the deep sea. Do you now have fantasies about the monsters and scary creatures romping around in the Challenger depths? I have to disappoint you for the most part, because the gigantic deep sea octopuses and sea serpents live in much higher levels of water. Nevertheless, the deep has a bizarre fish to offer. The deep sea anglerfish, or melanchthonitis, may not be a meter long monster, but this creature is probably one of the ugliest and most devious creatures of the deep sea. In complete darkness, the predator uses a small light on the angel-like head appendage. The light switches on whenever the deep sea angler is hungry. The next meal is automatically lured in front of its huge jaws and the fish only needs to snap. Line worms are the largest known single-celled organisms. These primitive life forms with the Latin name Xenophyophores form complex structures and are probably among the oldest living creatures on Earth. Equally fascinating are deep sea shrimps in the genus Rimacaris, which live near hydrothermal vents and feed on bacteria that use sulfur compounds as a source of energy. Subscribe to the channel now and never miss a new video.